The Network Path Analyzer is a new tool inside the Network Command Center of OCI, designed to help you remediate and validate network connectivity between two endpoints. The specific tool we're going to talk about in the Command Center today is a new tool called the Network Path Analyzer. It can help you troubleshoot routing and security configuration issues that are preventing two workloads from being able to talk to each other. It can help validate logical network paths, and it can even be used to proactively check that things are still working correctly. Let's take a closer look at the Network Path Analyzer itself. Let's check your connectivity and launch the Network Path Analyzer. Inside the Network Path Analyzer screen, you will see analysis that you have previously saved. You can choose to save the configuration if you think you're going to run it more often than just once. In this specific scenario, we're going to use a simulated environment on-premise with connectivity into one of the OCI regions. I already have saved this configuration. And what we're going to do now is run it to see what everything looks like when things all work as expected. The analysis is finished. Let's have a look around the screen to see what we can see. So I have asked for, in my previous configuration, to check from a source address that's not known to OCI. It's outside of OCI. It's just an arbitrary IP address. So what OCI is going to do is look at all the gateways that connect the virtual cloud network inside of OCI to the outside world, to discover where is there a route to that IP address. And the target is a virtual machine inside of OCI. And we've given it a port number. The way the tool works is it queries all the constructs, the route tables, the gateway attachments, and the security lists and security groups to look for the configuration that will allow this to happen. No real traffic is sent at all, and the service is free as a result. It doesn't incur any cost in any shape or form, no matter how many of these analysis you do run. Now, if we look down, it's actually identified two paths. In this case, I have two different IPsec tunnels from on-premise to my OCI DRG. That's why we're seeing two independent paths, one per tunnel. So it's identified that for us. And if you look further down, you can see it's also tested the return path and found a suitable return path. Again, just by querying the configurations of all the different constructs inside of OCI. Let's now take a look at an example where something has been purposefully broken in the scenario and see what the network path analyzer tells us in that case. Great, that analysis is now finished. And again, we can see successful traffic from my instance inside my VCN to simulated connection to Google's DNS servers. All the security lists are in place, all the routes are in place. So if that traffic were actually to be sent, remember it's not with a network path analyzer, it just looks to see if it were sent, it doesn't actually generate any traffic. If it were sent, there is a path uh, for routing, from a routing and a security point of view between those two endpoints. The problem appears to be with the return path. So here we can see we've got a green arrow so this hop is successful. However, if we look, there is a red segment. So let's double click on that red segment and scroll down to the information for that. Routing is fine. There isn't, however, security. And what it's done is it's looked at all the different security components that apply to that compute instance. And you can obviously click on them and be taken to those resources. This is a network security group that applies just to that compute instance. I think we should take a closer look at that. Here is our network security group. And we can see that outbound traffic is allowed TCP on port 53. Well, here we found the configuration error. Okay, these are stateless rules. So we've, we've, we've created a stateless rule for outbound traffic and we've created one for inbound traffic. And if we take a closer look, you'll see that the protocol is UDP. So if we were to look at the network path analyzer, we have configured the network path analyzer to look for TCP. So it's done what it was supposed to do and it's found the issue. The issue is that we need to edit this security list and change TC, UDP to TCP, apply the changes. And if we rerun the analysis, hopefully we fix the problem. The analysis is finished and hopefully if we scroll down now, we'll have success in both directions, which indeed we do. If we look at that unsuccessful hop now, you can see fixed our security group and traffic is allowed to pass as required. I trust you'll find the network path analyzer really useful. It'll help reduce the time to resolution for your faults. It will help you verify that the changes you have made 
have been successful and it will let you proactively check that connectivity is still flowing in the direction that you expect and with the security settings that you also expect. Look out for more tools coming to the Network Command Centre in the future.